Media Distribute allows you to take your video assets from Interplay and also your text metadata from iNews and publish this to an online platform. Let's take a look at how you would do that. Your system has Interplay Central. You will need to enable it for Media Distribute. Once enabled, you will see from the drop down menu the ability to go into that interface. Once you're in that interface, you can choose how you would actually like to publish content. Over here I have my iNews Rundown. My iNews Rundown contains stories and within that story I have text information about the particular story and I also have the video information associated with that. So you can see I have some video of the Prime Minister of England congratulating the royal couple of their newborn baby. This is the package, both the video and the text I'd like to update and send to my social platform. Over here you can see I have Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Vimeo, Brightcove, Kaltura. These are some of the platforms I can send to. Now what I could do is, because I had my iNews story opened up, I can load my story directly from iNews. Once I've done that, taking the story from iNews means that it will load the video and also load the text directly from my iNews rundown. From here I can choose how I'd like to distribute. So I'm going to choose Twitter. From Twitter I need to select a profile. Now the profile is associated with your house accounts and also your individual journalist accounts. From this particular profile, you can see that I have a house icon. This means that I'll be sending to your newsroom's house account. If I had a personal account, I would see the icon of a person associated with that as well. I'm going to choose that profile. And then from there, on the actual tweet, you'll see that I have the text information being placed in there. And it also tells me how many characters I have remaining. Now with iNews, a lot of the text entered is uppercase. Now we can also add the option that when this gets posted, it will automatically get changed to lowercase rather than uppercase. That's the text done. What about the video? So I have the video that I've actually been placing online. I can choose to publish to YouTube. From YouTube, much like Twitter, I need to select an account I'm going to publish to. Once I've selected that, I can change and amend any story data I wish to add into here. And I'll also add any categories I'd like to associate this with as well. From here, I can choose to schedule a delivery. So if I wanted this to be posted online in the future rather than immediately, I can choose. And then also, I would choose post. Now that's taken my iNews story and also my iNews text and video and put that to an online platform. What about if I didn't have iNews? So rather than load an iNews story, if I didn't have iNews, I would simply load a video into my source window, much like so. And then once I've loaded this video, all I would do is click the Attach Video button. That's now attached to that sequence direct, so I could create a sequence myself. And then when I go into my text, I would manually actually type in my Twitter or my tweet for this particular video. And now I could also add in a hashtag for that as well. From there, once I'm happy with that particular package that I've made, I'm going to click post again. Let's just add in my message field. And let's post that. Now that's posted, let's look at how I can actually deliver to your CMS system. Here in my web store, you can see I have a template associated with this particular story. And again, now I want to do is actually load up my iNews text and also my video associated with my story as well. So once again, I have my video associated when I select my baby PM reaction. I'm going to go to my web story. I'm going to load the story from iNews because this is going to load the text and also load the video associated with this. And then from there, you'll also see that the text information from my iNews rundown has gone within my CMS template. Over here I can change and amend this template, you can see it's a very basic template at the moment and this will automatically integrate into your website. From here I've attached the video from the iNews story and I can also add an image. Now the image that's being added is the static image that will appear on your website. So if I wanted to change this, I could go to a different frame, like this one over here where he's smiling and then from that I would actually update the image. This means that this will now be the poster frame on the website and then once that's clicked it will then start playing from the original start of the video. Much like profiles for Twitter and also profiles for YouTube, you would choose your CMS profile it's going to because you may have multiple outlets uh, on your website. And then from there I would hit send draft. That story is now being sent. 
So I created a story both in the web story option and also in the social message option. Just because I've posted the video does not mean it's been reviewed and approved for that particular story. So over here now when I go to my packages and I refresh my packages, you'll see that two new packages have just arrived. Now these packages need to be reviewed and approved. In your particular organization there will be two different types of users. There will be the person creating the package and also the person approving the package. So from here I would look at some of these uh, packages over here. You can see that this particular package, if I go to edit, and for this package I can review this and look at this. You can see here that there's actually a, a misprint here for this particular text. So let's change this. And change this to Prime Minister talking about baby George. And then I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the video and I'm going to hit update. Now that that's been updated, you can see here I have this update here for text information. Once I'm happy with this, I would then hit publish. And what publish is going to allow you to do is actually set, take the video and encode that video and send it to the online platform. And then also the Twitter text information will be uploaded to that particular platform as well. Over here you can see that the link has now gone live. So if I look at one that has video and audio and video associated with it, when I click the link, it takes me to my Twitter account. From the Twitter account, I can see that I have the tweet associated with that, and I also have the video that's associated with that package as well. And that's a quick overview of how Media Distribute integrates with Interplay Central.